peripheral arterial disease, often referred to as PAD, is caused by atherosclerosis and blockage of peripheral arteries that significantly reduces the oxygenated blood flow to the lower extremities. Common signs of PAD are cool or pale extremities or calf pain when walking that subsides with rest, a condition known as intermittent claudication. Symptoms of severely decreased perfusion are commonly known as the six Ps, referring to pain, paralysis, paresthesia, pulselessness, pallor, and poikilothermia. Additional signs include non-healing wounds on the lower extremities that can progress to severe infection and require amputation. Pathophysiology of PAD involves the buildup of plaque within the arterial walls, leading to diminished blood flow. Risk factors include smoking, hypertension, high cholesterol, aging, and diabetes. PAD can be diagnosed through tests like Doppler ultrasounds, segmental pressure measurements, and the ankle brachial index, a comparison of blood pressure readings taken from the arms and the ankles to assess for decreased blood flow. Treatment for PAD often includes medications like statins or cholesterol absorption inhibitors to lower cholesterol and reduce the formation of plaque. Antiplatelet medications or anticoagulants may be prescribed to prevent thrombosis. Antihypertensives are used to control blood pressure and reduce arterial damage. If an acute blockage occurs, thrombolytic therapy may be used to dissolve the clot, or surgical interventions may be performed like angioplasty, peripheral bypass grafting, revascularization procedures, or embolectomy. Nursing interventions focus on symptom management and reducing the risk of complications. Nurses encourage lifestyle modifications and teach about limb positioning to enhance blood flow. They encourage clients to avoid wearing constrictive clothing and to diligently examine their feet every day to identify signs of injury or infection requiring prompt treatment. Nurses also encourage walking therapy to promote the development of collateral circulation and improved blood flow to reduce the pain of intermittent claudication. The overall goals of treatment are to maintain adequate tissue perfusion and to prevent complications from blockages. Nurses evaluate the effectiveness of interventions and revise the nursing care plan as needed to meet identified expected outcomes.